Hello everyone and welcome back to Sterling Volt Auctioneers. Today we're diving into a fantastic lineup of watches from vintage pieces to special editions. Let's get started. First up we have the vintage Rolex Observatory from 1940s. This classic features a 30 millimeter chrome case with a unique patina loom dial. The red center seconds hand and the syringe style hour markers give it a very distinct vintage feel. It's powered by a manual wind movement with 17 joules. Next is a special edition Tag Heuer from the Formula One Senna Chronograph. It's a bold 44mm stainless steel piece with a grey sunburst dial accented by yellow features. It features this silver loom hands, a date aperture at 3 o'clock and a chronograph subdials as well. Powered by the Calibre 16 automatic movement, this watch is all about performance. It comes with a black leather strap and stainless steel deployment class, a perfect tribute to the racing legend Etten Senna. Now for something truly rare, the Hublot Big Bang Egypt Limited Edition. It's 44 millimeter chronograph and it's in an 18 carat rose gold black ceramic case. The standout here is the Egyptian pyramid motif on the subdial at nine o'clock. Powered by the Hublot signed ETA 7750 automatic movement with 27 joules. This piece is numbered to 48 of 50 ever made. It's presented on this black rubber strap with the gold elements, making it a high end collector's dream. In at a very competitive estimate, it really is good value for money. Let's move on to the iconic Rolex Submariner 16610 from 2009. It features a 40 mm stainless steel case, black dial and unidirectional bezel with a quick set date at three o'clock. The Mercedes hands engraved rehalt and dial are classic Rolex Submariner traits. It's powered by the reliable Rolex automatic movement and it comes with its box and papers and warranty card. Again, in at a very very competitive estimate. I've got a very quick favor to ask guys. We really enjoy making these videos. If you do enjoy watching them and you want to see even more, please subscribe. It means we can put even more effort into bringing you more content on fantastic watches. Thank you. Here's another vintage Rolex, this time the 18 carat yellow gold Rolex Oyster Perpetual reference 1005. From the 1960s, the 34 millimeter case features a stunning sunburst blue dial framed by an 18 carat fluted bezel. Powered by the Rolex Calibre 1560 butterfly movement with 25 jewels, this piece is a blend of elegance and craftsmanship. It's a beautiful piece for those who are appreciate vintage Rolexes. Next, we have a Vacheron and Constantine Fidius, a 1995 rarity. It's a 36 millimeter stainless steel and gold watch with a guilloché white dial and quick set date at three o'clock. It's 18 karat yellow gold bezel and integrated bracelet make it a refined timepiece. It comes with its original box and papers and it's still running perfectly. For collectors of classic understated elegance, this Fidius is a treasure. Onto the Piaget Dancer in 18 karat white gold from 1991. This 33 millimeter automatic watch features a silver sunburst dial with silver hands and a minute track. The integrated bracelet also in white gold adds to its luxurious appeal. It comes with the original box and papers and the watch weighs approximately 102 grams. For those who value elegance and understated luxury, this Piaget is perfect. A standout piece for vintage Amiga fans, the Seamaster 200 Banana from 1973. With its 41 millimeter stainless steel case and striking gray and yellow dial, this is a bold design. It's powered by the Amiga 565 caliber automatic movement with 24 joules. The watch comes with its original box and papers, adding even more value to this rare vintage piece. 
For the motorsport enthusiasts, we have the Amiga Speedmaster Michael Schumacher Edition from 2001. This limited edition chronograph has a 39mm stainless steel case and a checkered flag motif on the dial. It's powered by the Calibre 3220 automatic movement and features the tachometer bezel. With the original box, papers and receipts, this is a collectible for any racing or Amiga fan. Lastly, we have the Piaget Dancer Chronograph in 18 karat yellow gold. This 31mm quartz powered watch has the sunburst champagne dial with black Roman numerals and the three subdials as well. The integrated gold bracelet and Piaget signed crown add to its refined look. It weighs 89 grams and it comes with its original box, a piece of pure luxury perfect for formal occasions. That wraps up the review for today. Let us know which watch was your favorite in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more watch content.